warm welcome to Jovi Today. I'm Zizi Ndebu. Coming to the end of the year, we thought it would be cool to look at our favorite stories for 2014, starting with mine. There are cycles of the big ballets being performed around the world. So internationally, if you now go around the world, they are doing this here, La Bayadere. So it seems like without always planning it, the Joburg Ballet is indeed on par with the rest of the world by staging such a big ballet. And it really is a beautiful story ballet with exquisite dancing. And so Joburg Ballet has worked very hard on creating a ballet that really elevates us to becoming a world-class African ballet company. It's really been a big production, but it's been so exciting to finally be here, to be able to open tomorrow night and do the show, not just prepare for it. Like all classics, you know, it's always about romance. Um, La Bayadere is about a love triangle. It's set in in classic um, Indian, you know, Hindi times, actually. You know, if you think about a very dramatic, extravagant uh, Bollywood movie, it's always about love triangles. And La Bayadere is exactly that. For me as a professional dancer, in the years that I've danced, La Bayadere by far is one of the hardest ballets I've ever done. The third act and the fourth acts are filled with ballet and the fourth act in particular is what we call a white ballet. It's because of the white tutus that they all wear and it's one of those things that most ballet aficionados are hugely interested in seeing because it's like Swan Lake, it's like Giselle where you see all of these girls in the white tutus performing the most beautiful steps. Not to brag or anything, but I think our standard is pretty high for this production and I really think it's going to be amazing. I wish I could be in the front watching as well. Theatre has the power to ignite the imagination and open up a world of dreams. La Baie Day being shown at the Joburg Theatre promises to take your breath away. I'm Zizi Ndebu for Joburg Today. Hey guys, this is Dale from Prime Circle and you're watching Joburg Today. I absolutely love ballet, so being able to go to La Baia Day was just amazing for me. The ballerinas put in a lot of work, so working with our cameraman Bryce, we were able to get the behind the scenes preparation and then the final product of them performing on stage. It was elegance, class and the story of La Baia Day put together and we really wanted to translate that into a story that you guys could enjoy. Staying on performances though, we now take a look at Dumi's favorite story. Johnny Clegg is one of South Africa's iconic musicians and he brings his live and unplugged show to Johannesburg for the very first time. Not only is he energetic, but he also tells a story behind every song during his performances. In November last year, I was I was asked by my management, I didn't want to do it, but uh, he, he said, you know, you don't have a live unplugged album. Johnny Clegg or Jaluka have never had a live unplugged. Uh, we should do one. So we recorded um, eight shows at the Baxter Theatre in, in Cape Town. And I had never played live unplugged. And I suddenly discovered my voice. And here, uh, my voice was the lead instrument and, and, and I had to focus on it in a way that I'd never really thought about before and uh, I enjoyed it I enjoyed the experience and it seemed to work well so we decided well let's let's go with a tour of, of, of this you know and, and put it on uh, in Johannesburg um, and and really what it is it, it is the the raw uh, unstructured songs as they were written sometimes just voice and guitar when I'm out there on stage you can see it's like people are in my lounge you know it's not about you know, I'm a celebrity and you out there and I'm doing my thing and, you know, these are my hits and whatever. It's really about engaging and sharing my experience 
as a songwriter, my experience as an anthropologist, my experience as a storyteller, my experiences also of, of struggling to find my own identity in Zulu culture, in Zulu Maskanda music, and the culture of the Amatlaika that, that, that we spoke about. So uh, people get uh, actually a kind of an autobiographical detail of the show. It's a very unique thing in that way. The crossover tradition that existed in South Africa, there was one, but it was hidden. And I stumbled on it by mistake. And I, I thought, this is a model that I'd like to use. The wall of sound engages the people and then you sing over it, you know. It's a different kind of energy. I'm Bitumela Larato Kwena for Jobek Today. Hi, I'm Marilene Strauss and I'm your Miss South Africa for 2014. You are watching Joburg Today. Dumi, we just saw one of your favorite stories. Johnny Clegg <laughs> is a legend. Yeah. What was it like meeting him? Okay, first of all, I have to mention um, his personality. He's a very humble guy, you know. And for me to interview such a legend, a musical legend, you know, he's not only known in South Africa, but worldwide as well. Yes. So that, that, that was so special to me. I, he's one of the best people I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> and not to mention his um, performance. This was actually his first unplugged show, you know. His, he recorded an album and this was the very first one. So it was, it was fantastic actually. I, I loved it. It was awesome. I'm so proud of this piece. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We now take a look at Mapula's favorite story. It is really fun being here and I think it's amazing and it's like kind of drives you to perform more. It's difficult to catch up schoolwork but it makes it worth it and I'll just go back, finish it up and it's just a great experience to have. It's been really hard for me playing the White Rabbit. I, for some reason I couldn't find him. I don't know where he is or maybe it's because he's always running somewhere. It was fun, you know, I always felt like, I mean, as soon as I walked into the audition, I mean, you always have to feel like you belong somewhere. So um, I, I walked in and I was like, yes, you know, they received us well. It was a great energy at the audition. And then I found out like two days later that I was in. The process has been exciting, it's been a learning curve. I think it has helped me to find the child within me and to present the child within me always to the audience. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it extremely. It was hard in the beginning, I must say, all the learning the lines, being on stage, everything you need to remember. It's been lovely creating magic for kids. This is my first um, children's theatre production and it's just a different energy and the children are amazing. They're just, they're lovely to perform for because they really appreciate it. I like the bubbles. I like the bunny rabbit. I loved it the, she was going in the bunny's home. How is it? This is Dominic Oliver, and you're watching Joburg Today. Mapula, we just saw one of your favorite stories, Alice in Wonderland. What made this one so special? Um, the kids, to be honest. Just the excitement during the show, the energy. The kids just anticipating to see Alice when the music played. Like, I really enjoyed it. But most of all, like, when I got to interview the actors, just hearing about their experience, how much work they put on, and how much they enjoy being on stage and how the kids interact with them. And also getting to speak to the kids afterwards and hearing what their favorite part of the show was. Like, I really enjoyed that, and that really stood out for me. Fantastic, thank you so much, Mapula. That's it from me and the producers. We'll see you again on Christmas. We leave you at Jesse Click Clarity. Back in ETV.
steps go.